Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. It was 66 degrees when I walked outside, and I just couldn't even believe it. Oh, I know. We've had the most marvelous spring. It's, it's, it's been, the weather's been perfect. It's been extended. Of course, the forecast now going forward looks a little rough. Yeah, I think summer's on this year. <laughs> Which <laughs> brings us to our subject this morning, which is succulents, because the hotter it gets, the less we all want to water. So... Yeah, because we spend a lot of our time doing that, so we like plants and don't need a lot of that because it makes our lives a lot easier. <laughs> so, for me, um, the first really cool succulent I think I ever grew was Manfreda. Maybe we should talk about what a succulent is. All right, we'll go for it. Okay, so a succulent usually is a plant that holds, stores water somehow in it, and usually with most of these we're going to talk about, they store it in their leaves, so the leaves are thick and fleshy. Um, sometimes there's some plants that store water in their stems, but we're not going to talk about those. Right, today. and they don't have thorns like cactus. Which you know. is not. Well, right. except agaves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they have points for have sure. Points, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so um, anyway, very low maintenance. Um, some of them can take full sun, but a lot of them really want a little shade in the afternoon. It kind of varies. Yeah, we've noticed ours actually make great porch plants because they, if they get bright light, they don't have to have any direct sun and they do just fine. Right. Although years ago, I used to have them on my back patio in the full sun in pots that I didn't really water and they grew too. So yeah, I guess it, it kind of depends. But, um, but yeah, we went to this place called Yuckadoo Nursery. God, that had to be 20 years ago. In Hempstead. In Hempstead, yeah. yeah. A long time ago. And I guess now they've changed it to a... Um, um, a botanical garden. A foundation or, or something, yeah. Anyway, it's different than it was. But this guy collected um, really unusual things from all over, like... Um, Mexico. Mexico a lot, Canada yeah, a lot. and stuff yeah. like that. So a lot of it was really drought-tolerant things. And this Manfreda was um, at the nursery, and I just found it fascinating. Didn't know anything about it. Um, and it is so cool. I had it for years and years at my house in pots and I would bring some of the pots in the greenhouse But then I'd leave some of the pots out and they never froze. It was amazingly hardy But every spring they bloom and they get this spike of flowers that comes out of the center and it it, it rises up a good oh, five, four, feet, yeah. four or five feet. I mean incredibly tall and then these little, um, or large, really, lily-looking flowers come out with these stamens that, it's just, it, they're fascinating. They're just absolutely fascinating. Yeah, the first time it bloomed, Sharon brought it in and to, brought it to the nursery and brought it into our office and set it down and said, oh, look at how cool this is that it's blooming. And later on in the day, we, we walked in the office and we were like, what's that weird smell? We thought it was, ele it smelled electrical. like electricity. Yeah, it smelled like an electrical short or something going on. And we looked everywhere and finally figured out it was that flower. <laughs> so that, it had us a really strange aroma too. It know. does, but it, it's really, really cool. And it actually sometimes will produce um, seed pods after that. I, I don't know if I'm getting any seed pods off mine at home this time. We've never tried growing it from seed, have we? Yeah, we have. Oh, we okay. have. Yeah, okay. it does germinate from seed, That's but great. you don't always get the pods. It's interesting. They don't always uh, produce the pods, but I collect I noticed them. that about our yuckies this summer, they uh, or this spring. After they bloomed, the flowers faded, but they didn't they put didn't a lot of They didn't produce a lot of seed. Yeah. yeah. But that was disappointing. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, so we grew that mangave for years just because it was interesting. Manfreda. 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 I say that now because now they have come up with new um, crosses that are called mangave. So they've taken agaves and, and which are uh, spiny, I mean like pointy, sharp on the points of their leaves. But very architectural. Yes. And, and very slow growing. And they've crossed them with the man uh, Fritas and come out with mangaves, which just keeps confusing me. But anyway, so it gives you the attributes of the Manfreda, which means that they usually grow faster and a lot of them have those cool spotting and they've come up with some really interesting looking spotting in the leaves. And they're more winter hardy than agaves, which in our climate zone eight, agaves don't usually make it to the winter. Right. But Manfreda's do. So this is one that you can see has a lot of um, nice, purple spotting in the leaves 
and these Manfreda, I think usually, uh, Mangaves, God, I can't get it right, usually bloom also, um, just like the Manfredas do with that tall spike of flowers. Uh, where's the, hold on, this one is really cool looking. But some of them are kind of, um, which one is this one? That's Inkblot. That's Inkblot. Okay, Inkblot is, is hardier than some of the other Mangabes. So, I still wonder if they can really be left outside in the winter, the Mangabes, because you know how we have those, um, like we did last fall, we have 80 degrees and then we have 20 degrees, and those are the kinds of temperatures where things don't harden off that really damage plants. So I kind of wonder if they're really going to work as totally outdoor plants. But this one, ink lot, is supposed to be hardier. And you can kind of see where this one has that drapey foliage that hangs down. This one's a little tighter in the look of the, the leaves are a little more controlled and it still has nice spotting in the foliage. And then this pineapple, is that pineapple? Yeah, this is Pineapple Express. They have some great names in these plants. Yeah. Too. And this one is even a little bit more controlled in the in the uh, width of the leaves and how it grows. And it really does look like a pineapple. It does. So those are all really cool mangabes. Oh, here's another one. We've got to go through them all. Are you going to try to lift that up? Well, I don't know if no. you can see it if I don't. Okay, we'll get this out of the way. It weighs a thousand pounds. All right, and this is purple, purple people eater, eater. <laughs> so that's kind of a dusty purple isn't that pretty so anyway they make beautiful beautiful uh pots uh you know sitting around and they're very low maintenance because they don't require a lot of water which is fabulous okay i think that's all the oh here's another one not sure but i think this is uh mocha so, That's a pretty color. Yeah. yeah, it's green with some dusting of chocolate in there, which is neat. Okay. That's it for... Well, my favorite so. succulent is Echeverius, uh, which is a huge category of plants. It is uh, huge. But they have... I like them because they have uh, very controlled foliage. They, they grow in rosettes. A lot of succulents, like the crassulas, get long and... and skinny and yeah they kind of get out of hand very quickly but uh echeverias keep their nice shape for a long time uh and they come in lots of different colors and lots of different shapes and they're just really and they, they make beautiful. great small mixed pots I they think. did yeah, yeah they make a great mixed pot so this one is called summer can you see how beautiful that shape is i just love that it's yeah, really good and the colors in it are nice. It's got some grays and purples. This was a new one to us this year. It's called Rosea. And the flower, it's starting to bloom. Are you okay? <laughs> I got pulling that leaf off. <laughs> I feel like I cleaned them up pretty well. Obviously not a plant well enough. Here, I'll hold Yeah, so these, these we have to bring in for the winter because they're only hardy to zone nine, unfortunately. But they actually make excellent house plants. If you have a bright enough location, they do really well inside. That one is Black Prince, Prince. Yep. and it really is, so the purple is so dark in it, it's almost black. Um, I think that one will bloom pretty well too, although I've never seen it. This one isn't a very good specimen, but it was the last one we had left, and I love the name of this, Afterglow. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and the color on this is really beautiful too. It's very rosy, really pretty. And this one gets really big too. Oh, uh, Blue curls, giant blue curls, giant blue curls, and this one gets really big. In is fact, I have is? yes, I have one in a bigger pot so you can see. Ooh, almost bigger than my head. <laughs> yeah, so they are they're beautiful, very ruffly edges. Yeah, and and uh, sometime later we'll go out and show you our little uh, dry bed we have now that we have yuccas and succulents in because it's really pretty and we just have you know one plant with a lot of rock around it and then another plant with a lot of rock around it. very you know, different from our usual style which is cram as much stuff as you can in the <laughs> way to but I like it it's very tidy and very well it's more controlled than we usually are in right. our gardening 
and it used up all this old rock we used to have on fountains up front. We had all this, you know, black rock and this rock and that rock, and so we made little piles, so it's kind of cute that way. But <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we encourage you to try some succulents, and it's a very trendy, uh, it's a very trendy plant now because people have discovered how, well, first of all, how pretty they are and how easy they are to take care of. So if you're new to plants and you don't or you don't have a lot of time to look at your plants and spend with your plants succulents are a great choice absolutely yeah anyway so come out and see us it's a beautiful weekend oh it is so Thanks. hope you enjoy it bye, <laughs> bye.